Let's chat and review and learn some more sign language ASL style. Ready? Let's go. All right, guys. I said I was going to do this, and I'm keeping to my words. We are going to go through all the episodes of The Dragon Prince together that uses sign language. Now, why do we care about this? Well, one, Dragon Prince is awesome. Go check it out. It's an amazing show. It's the best representation of deaf people in cartoons. You need to check it out. It's an amazing show. Also, I think that... Positive body language is a crucial element to having good conversations with people. If you want to learn how to talk to anyone about anything, you got to learn how to express yourself with more than just words. And what better language to show how to express yourself without having to use words than sign language. It's a great language and I highly recommend people check it out. Anyway, this is a great show. It's called The Dragon Prince. I think we're in episode six. Watch out. There are will be spoilers. <laughs> you so listen, if you really want to check out the show, go on ahead and check it out. But then come back and we we'll check this out because what we're doing is a breakdown of all the sign language in the show. The main signer in the show is called General Amaya. She's a great lady. Powerful, strong, awesome. In fact, let's just show a clip of her right now. Here she is on her horse. Isn't that amazing? Check that out. <laughs> cool lady. Anyway. Uh so the first sign that's coming oh by the way the frame rate is terrible in the show it's the first season really does have bad frame rate especially for sign language anyway three signs in the first clip that we see journal maya uh the first three signs that she does is this one followed by i'm so this and then Glad you're safe this so breaking it down one two three first love happy safe there are a lot of different ways to show love in sign language or at least to get to let people know that you mean love there's like contextual loves there's like i love you but love is this is the standard way of doing it like hey love i'm happy you're safe i'm happy you're safe all right we're nice and simple though normally and i'm not saying i'm not saying i'm the expert but i'm not saying i'm an expert but if I was going to say, hey, I'm happy you're safe, I'd just be like, hey, safe. I'm happy you're safe. I'm going to grab onto the guy. <laughs> I don't respect personal space. <laughs> okay. Anyway, next scene. Oh, General Maya, here's something. Okay, so the, oh my gosh, I don't want to call this guy the redhead lieutenant. He has a name. It's been a while since I've seen this show. We're just going to call him Captain Ginger. <laughs> I didn't want to say that. Anyway, he does this, and he's like this. So this brings up an interesting concept, uh, both in body language and in ASL grammar. Uh, this means wrong. There are a lot of different alternatives for showing wrong. You could do this. You could do this just once. You could do a wraparound. But this means wrong, and this means what? Note that his face is furrowed when he does that. So just doing doesn't mean anything it, at least as far as ASL it could mean like nothing really doing this though does mean what and you typically do this for what but if your one hand is like occupied it's contextualized that you meant to do this like what like what but you have one hand so just what so wrong what wrong what in ASL that means what's wrong what's wrong note that the words are a little bit backwards and the, they're completely backwards. And the reason why they're backwards is ASL grammar. This is important. ASL grammar typically puts the what, why, where, who. Uh, yeah, I think mostly those at the end. End of sentences. So that person over there, who's that? Right? Or, hmm, you went where? Vinny, where is he? Um, bathroom, where is it? Uh, what's wrong? You see? You say wrong, but then you end on what? But you also have to make that furrowed face. The furrowed face in, indicates that you're asking the question. And it's really important to throw your body into the vibe of what you're trying to say, the meaning of what you're saying. 
So that way, similar to how English isn't a monotone language where everything has the same tonation and tempo and temper, you, you go up and down with your tones in English. And in the same way, you go a little bit in and out and act and, and contextualize the words that you're signing with your face. It's very, very, it's a very, very small component to just know how to sign. You also have to throw in the body language behind it. And it's a big component in ASL. It's a big component in, it, in any kind of communication as well. And that's why we're doing the show. So just, I know it's been a lot of talking. We got a lot of talking so far, but we got a lot of videos to go through. But keep this in mind, when you're having a conversation with someone, you are giving off a particular vibe, whether you're aware of it or not. And it needs to be, especially when you're in a conversation in an SE format, positive and like non-threatening, non-confrontational. And the keys to it are with your face and your posture and the stance and the distance that you give yourself and the, the level of, in, the, of intensity that you have when you're like listening to a person. All these things envelop a, a, a demeanor that encapsulates your body language. And if you wanna show that you're interested in what the person has to say and that you have an open mind, you have to reflect that in the words that you say and the way how you carry them. And I think ASL is a great way to show that. It's not just, hey, what's wrong? Or like, hey, what's wrong? It's, you know, throw yourself into it. Really mean what you're saying. All right, let's keep going. Squinty face. <laughs> okay, so. So you ain't here for a minute, couple minutes, a few, however long it takes, I'll go find the key. She just kicks down the door. I don't believe in luck. Okay, so uh, Captain Ginger is an incredible interpreter. He can like see through people's backs and through armor and stuff like that. Anyway, let's break down the scene. All right, so I think I see about five signs here. I don't believe. Okay, so the angle makes it a little rough. Also, the low frame rate, but she's doing me don't uh, believe in locks. And sometimes I do for like really, really big locks, but you don't have to do that, just locks. Me don't believe in locks. I don't believe in locks. Also, <laughs> don't sign, don't say that in front of the police, they'll arrest you. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's do the scene one more time, okay? So remember, it's me don't believe in locks. Really well done. Also look at the face. She's not just like, like she's like, she's like saying it. Also, when I first saw this, I didn't know, I didn't see because of the angle. I thought I only saw the me to the believe. And with her face scrunched down, she was just like, I don't believe in that. Like sometimes you can get away with that in ASL. Sometimes you don't have to say, I don't. You can just say the verb with a no and a scrunched face, like believing, like indicating like, no. It's like, did you run yesterday? It's like, or did you run yesterday? It's like, no, I don't run. <laughs> I don't run. I like sleeping. <laughs> but you can like get away with like having to say the extra words if you throw the body language that's appropriate with it. It's very, very commonly done. Um, is it standard? No. But is it common? Yes. And in my opinion, and this is this is a point that might be a contentious point, but in my opinion, a lot of times languages are shaped by the people who use them. And in deaf communities, that could be, you know, different kinds of dialects based on the part of the city that you're in. So, you know, like I said, what I'm saying, it's not 100% official for everybody, but I think it is common enough that it's worth letting you guys know about. And, you know, I got that disclaimer up ahead of time. Anyway, let's just keep going with this. We're gonna have a fun time. Someone's here. Okay. Didn't quite remember seeing that, but I think if you're gonna say someone's here, so the 
the way how you say something in general, like something, someone, um, you can just put up one finger. This means person, so you can say some person, like some person is here, right? I think if she's saying someone, like someone's here, or like someone's here, there's another way you can say it too. Someone's here, looking around at the same time, but some person here, that's what she's saying. What? No. Let's break it down. Some person here. She just throws out the hands. Very cool. Look at her face though. She's not even like some person's here. She's like some per some some knuckleheads hiding around here. I love it. It's great. It's a great way to show attention to detail because sign language again is not just hands and moving around in really cool ways it's the face it's the body language they're throwing they're like someone's here someone is right here like i don't know who is here it's a it's a full-on body way of communicating and it's a great way to highlight positive body language all right let's keep going Ooh. no 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 one here but us and all your human troops Alum, you know it doesn't help to yell. And why are you saying human troops like that? Uh, what do you okay, so this is a bit of a longer sign. We're going to break it down. Uh, she spells out C-A-L-L-U-M. Sometimes in a, um, when people are signing, and I, I don't know if that was the case. I'm gonna have to, we'll have to rewatch this, but it'll be C-A-L-L-U-M. Callum, uh, let's see, why you yell, um, and I don't know if she said also, but uh, why you say uh, human troops, like that? She might have said all that, but basically, we will break it down together. Let's see what we got. C-A-L-L-U-M. Yo, low frame rates. You missed an L, animators. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna let it slide. I'm not. I'm not. I don't mean to give you guys a hard time, but this low frame rate kills. <laughs> Finger spelling. All right. So she meant to. It's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Why you, know you yell. yell? Captain Ginger is like, hey, it doesn't help to yell. Whereas the. Uh, General Maya says, "Why you yell?" the The implication is is that I can't hear you anyway. It doesn't really make much of a difference. She's deaf, guys. It's great. You know, there's a there's a there is a community on the internet, a fraction of people on the internet that are trying to imply that General Maya is not in fact deaf, that she can hear and talk. <laughs> She's just using sign language for the heck of it. I'm like, dude, guys, come on. Are you serious right now? There are people, there are silly people all over the place. Anyway, why do you yell? Why you why mouth you saying human, human troops, troops like that. that? Why do you say human troops? Um, yeah, so like I said, some were, oh, 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 no, I'm going against the thing that I said. I had all this over here. Why did she start with why? Okay, so look at me. So there is always going to be an asterisk. <laughs> it's everything I say. So normally, um, uh, why you yell? Or you yell, why? There's, it's the sa it means the same thing, but... You know, the way how people, you know, use grammar is in a very big way characteristic of the person themselves. Sometimes I don't speak grammatically correct all the time. And ASL is not something where that is, you know, uh, as strictly defined as I would say even like English. It's more of something that's shaped by the people that use it, by the groups that use it. And sometimes people strictly stick with the what, why, where's uh, at the ends of sentences. And sometimes it's a mix between the two. And it's totally okay because 
hey, it's a language. It's meant to evolve. And it's meant to primarily evoke the emotions and the meaning of the person who's using it and not follow a strict dogmatic system. And you know me. I'm not a big fan of dogmas anyway. Anyway, though, um, why you yell? Yelling. Why you yell? Also, uh, why you say or talk or talk about? There's a lot of different ways of doing that. I can say talk. I can say talk. I can say mouth. Just why'd you say human troops like that? And I don't even think she said like. I think she just said human troops to you. Why'd you say human troops? A lot of different ways you can do it. General Maya's got a very, very cool way of signing. Me. That's how I always say, heavily armed human troops. <laughs> okay. So, some cute moments coming up here. She's looking around. Callum's nervous. He's got an elf friend in the rafters, and she's all like, What you, what you, what you doing at? I'm Squish. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you playing at? Okay, uh, let's go through the rest of this scene real quick. Knock, knock. Who's uh, there? Esrin has something to tell you. Um, I skip breakfast. I'm sorry. Oh, dude. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And then the arm fold. Let's do it. Let's break this one down. Breakfast. Breakfast most important most food important day. So she's signing it as breakfast. By the way, breakfast is you eat, but you make a B shape with your hand. You guys remember your alphabet, A, B, C. This is B. You make the food motion, and now it becomes breakfast. Breakfast, most important meal, going back to the food, of the day. It's pretty easy. And then, arm fold. <laughs> Showing like, hey, I'm disappointed, boy. <laughs> like I said, great show. And we're barely getting into this. Can you believe it? We're barely getting into the, how great this character is. Okay, next scene. The food here is food here. Hard spray. like sword. This okay. The food food here. here. Is... Remember, this is how you sign here. But if you have one hand busy, it's totally fine to say here. The food here. Like for example, let's break this down. Let's break this down. Thank you. Versus good. Good. I'm also going to do this. Thank you. So, thank you. Hey, you said something nice to me. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. One hand only. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. No, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Good. That's good. You're good. Hey, man. You're good. Two hands. Two O's. In my head, I remember two O's, two hands. Whereas, thank you, uh, no O's. So, just thank you. But, thank you, good. Good two hands. Remember? Mmm, this juice is good. You see that? I'm only using one hand because this hand's busy. This is good. This is good. This is good. Thank you for it. Thank you for this. This is good. Do you see the difference? How you can say two different things with the same motion of the hands let's even make it even more complicated it's basically the body language that sells which one's which how about this oh uh oh versus good morning good morning okay thank you good good morning okay hope you can see that good morning Good morning. Do it enough times. Good morning. Good morning. Good good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, good morning. <laughs> That's the way I do it. I'm, yay, good morning. Hey, this is good. 
this is a good morning. This is good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Good. Putting them all together. Thank you. I really appreciate that. This is good. This is really good. If my hand's busy. This is really good. Oh, hey, good morning. It's good to see you. Good morning. Yeah? It is all body language selling each one of them. And hopefully it's enough of a difference to show that even though it's the same motion each time, like, what does this mean? Does this mean good? Does this mean thank you? Does this mean good morning? Or is it like, hey, thank you. I really appreciate it. Eye contact, leaning forward, um, body language that's showing with my shoulders down that I really appreciated the moment that you helped me out in my moment of vulnerability. I really appreciated it. Thank you. Good. Yo, dude, this thing that I'm looking at is really good. I'm really, yeah, I'm, I am not in agreement that this is a good thing that I'm looking at. Good morning. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> Please don't bother me. <laughs> I'm at my desk. Hey, it's good morning. Hey, good morning. Hey, what's up? Yeah, good morning. Hey, Tyrone. Hey, it's nice to meet you. Hey, good morning. So, you know, you wrap it all up in the thing that you're trying to say. It's not just the sign. It is the body language that shows them. Let's get back to the show. So she's saying, let's see. Do I remember what she's saying? Um... This food here, okay, so she's saying like the food here is hard. Normally hard is hard, right? Like easy, nice and easy, hard. This food is hard like swords. It's like basically metal from like a sword. All right, so we will do a breakdown of the signs now. Let's see what we have. Hard Weapons like break. sword. This. Oh, geez. Dig in. Dig in. <laughs> I guess. Aunt Amaya, why are you here? Here you go. I oh. received a messenger bird from the king yesterday. Bird king yesterday. That's the only thing I caught so far. It's kind of bright in this room. I message. I received bird. a messenger. From King the king yesterday. Look how she does say yesterday. It's so cute. Okay, so um, I got message bird yesterday, I believe is how she's saying it. Let's see. I got message I bird, messenger bird from the king, king yesterday. yesterday. That's how she's signing that. Isn't that great? It all makes sense. <laughs> oh, it's real sign language is so great. The castle is under threat. Assassins have infiltrated the kingdom. Moonshadow elves. The worst kind. Awful. Do not bring your Awful. Force to the oh, that's so important. Let me highlight that. It's not just, oh, it's the worst ever. It's the worst ever. It sparkles. Like, oh, the, the sparkles are really nice. It's really good. Um, They split into a normal, like, they had one group and they split into a different group. It's awful. Sparkles. It splits. It's the same sign, but without like, without throwing some body language behind it, it means nothing. It's the worst. Sparkles everywhere. It started as one, but then it split. Exploded everywhere. The way how you sign is dependent on the way how you sign. And I think the way how you say words, the words that you choose are always going to be important. But how you say them is also going to be the biggest component with how someone hears and interprets what you meant. And I think communication is always a compromise between what you had meant to say and what you had meant with the words that you picked and what the person decides is what you meant based on their interpretations of the words that you threw in a particular order. That compromise is communication. And the best way to throw the odds in your favor of someone understanding you properly is by throwing really meaningful co uh, body language that is on the same level of what you're trying to say. And so when she goes, it's awful. She has her face angry and grossed out. It's tight and she's like almost upset as she says it. Let's see how she says that again. It's really important. It's really well done. Because the animators didn't have to go through this much trouble. Look at this. It's the worst. The 
the worst kind. Awful. Do not Just the worst. The great, great, Orders great use of sign in here. To the banter line. Also, he's reading it, but like, I think the text is on the other side, bro. <laughs> he's reading blank paper. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, dude. There's more on the back. Okay. Uh, there's more on the back. More on the back. There's more on the back. She's not saying more back. Like, baby, I want more back. She's saying, like, there's more on the back. You see that little nod? It's like, hey, flip it over. There's more there. Look how she's saying it. And Ezrin will be there. Above all, see to it that my sons are safe. Wait, there's more on the back. There's more on the back. P.S. Once their safety is assured, the boys may wish Paper's to build backwards. a dirt man. We do not wish to build a dirt man. We do not. You're safe now, boys. Okay, this is quick. Uh, let's let's see if I got a. Yes, I did. So. You're safe, safe now. now boys, boys, you too? Okay. So, you're safe now, boys, right? We'll, we'll break down what she meant by that. Okay, so... Um, ooh, you wouldn't say you're safe. Let's make sure, let's make sure I'm getting this right just before I break this down. She should point. Yeah, she does. Okay, great. She says, you... So there's a difference between you and your in ASL, and I just wanted to make sure she was doing the right one. So you safe now, boy or kids. Um, kid. YouTubes? Use? <laughs> you... You group. So the signs are you safe now, kids, you guys. I think that's how she's signing it. It's a dark room. She's wearing dark gloves, but no, that's more or less it. So you're safe now, kids. You is pointing at the person that you're talking to. You. 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 That person. Henry, but you. If I'm pointing at you, I'm saying you. You, safe. Remember from the beginning? Safe. Now. Now. Also, ASL sometimes just means let's go. I'm charged up. <laughs> but now, uh, kids, and she's pointing at one, two, Callum and Ezrin, who are right in front of her. And she also points at the two of them. This is how you point at a group of people. So, like, those people over there, you two. Like, you guys, you guys, us, us together, those people, you guys. It's directional. ASL is very much directional. It's very much targeted towards who you're talking to. So you are safe. I can even just do this. You're safe. You're safe. You two are safe, right? But she says, you safe now, boys, right? So great. It's so great. You're safe also, look, she's smiling now, and she's totally into boys. it. It's not as intense as before, not as brave, not as stern. There's emotions that go into it. She's playing it really well. Also, I just love this little scene right here. They put the door back together. That's so good. The attention to detail so good. Okay. Uh, this is a fight scene with uh, the elf lady in the show. That's a punch in the face. ASL, that means I really don't like you very much. <laughs> oh, that's 15. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, so inside, well, not so much of an inside joke, but like um, this sign right here. This sign right here. Come and get some. We're used to like this meaning come and get some. But again, ASL, very much body language oriented, very much contextualized. So this could just as easily mean come and get some, I'm about to kick your butt, versus 15. 15, please. Like, uh, how, old is she? How, how old is that person? 15. Because when you count in ASL, you go one, two, or if you really want to, one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then comes the fun parts where you can do like ten, one, or just one. And if you do that enough times, you basically just look like you're doing this. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And we got some 15s over here. So with a blank face, uncontextualized, 15, please. Come and get some, please. Which one am I saying? Doesn't really matter. But if I'm fighting a person, I'm like, come over here. That means come and get some. But if I'm like, hey, um, right? It's like, hey, I have 15. It's like, how much do you have? 15. That's a lot, right? Okay, so let's continue. Also, I love this part of the scene. Uh, they stay true. They stay true to the fact that Maya can't hear, and she pins down the elf with her shield. But she, then some people come up behind her. It's her own troops. And she doesn't notice that they're behind her until they turn on the lights. And I thought that was such a great touch. So look, she pins them. She's totally focused on that elf, but then the lights behind her turn on and that's when she turns around. Such well done directing. That's great. That's really, really subtle. Doesn't hit you over the head. Also, I think she's gonna punch her in the face again. Again, in ASL, that means I don't like you. <laughs> if anyone punches you in the face, <laughs> and they're deaf <laughs> you say ow <laughs> that dude, hey I don't like you very much oh, there you go hey what are you gonna do how did you do it how did you do what oh how did you do okay so how would you say how did they do it a lot of different ways of saying uh, a lot of different ways of saying this then um how would I do it how did how would you do it or uh how do you do it or what are you guys doing here? What do you do? Like, what what's what's your function here? Um, um, how did you do it in the past? If you really want to do like more grammatical sense, but like, how did you guys do it? Right. Anyway, um, I only signed that because I don't think that's in the scene. How you get you cut off by the camera angle. Another sad point is a lot of the shots in the show are taken at not so much at the best angles to read sign language some of the shots are really far away or at angles that don't really make reading easy and i'm not saying that they should make every scene easy for it but and i'm glad that they actually went through the effort to like make the signing accurate but it does make my job harder <laughs> my hobby of a job harder <laughs> making sure we can uh get accurate um representation of what's going on here so um out of shot out of shot hey, looks like she said what? how how did you guys do this we so how we many of you are there? ah 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 captain ginger saying we she's saying you guys you see it's like you guys is that is that making sense the the redhead dude was like we and she's like you guys, which was interpreted as, in the context of the situation, we, though I wonder, that guy is a really good translator because Amaya is like, you and who else, basically? Like, you and who, you other people, you and some other people, that's probably how I would have translated it. Though we works really well, too. Oh my gosh, love this show so much. How did you do it? How did you do what? We. We. How many of you are there? How many of you? That's oh, okay. We? How many? How many? Oh, that's a great one. So there's another sign for uh, there's what? So in ASL, you've got the what's, you got the why's, you got the who's. What? 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 You got the why's. What? Some people do this, but why, 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 you know? And you got the who's, who's the, who, who, what, who, huh? Who, who is that? But you also have how many's. And that also has its own sign. You got the how's, of course, how. How, how, how do you do this? Like, how do you spell this? But you also have how many, which is Oh? <laughs> so like you have how which is like this 
But you'll say, how many? <laughs> how many? Also, it's not like this, like, how many? Like, that doesn't mean anything. This could be a, a bunch of different stuff. That doesn't, but if you don't sign it right, it means nothing. How many? How many? How do I do this? How many do you have? That's a lot of kids. <laughs> That's a lot. How many? You have 15 kids? Oh, my gosh. Why is it when people have kids, it's always just like, you have one kid? That's cool. You got two kids? Hey, man, that, that's a full house. Hey, man, you got three kids? Oh, whoa, that's cool. Not, hey, you know what? That's awesome. Four kids? Okay. <laughs> then it starts getting a little weird, right? You have five kids? Like, you got five kids? Wow, okay. Well, you know, like, something, you, something, something must be either really good or a little bit out of control in this life. I'm not going to judge. Six kids in 2019? 17 kids like seven kids okay so this is like clearly seven kids okay so like everything else is either thrown out the window you're like either like a hardcore millionaire or like destitute you like you need help right now eight kids you have eight kids like all at the same time like nearly like, like what's the problem here nine kids that is impossible what are you doing 10 kids you have 10 kids Whoa, that's a lot of kids. How do you know? How do you name them all? What's going on here? Eleven kids. Okay, what's wrong with you? <laughs> so you, you, what's wrong with you? You have eleven kids. You get you. Get, you have eleven children. Twelve kids. Oh wow, you must be going for some sort of record. Thirteen kids. You have thirteen kids. That's nuts. That's literally and crazy. Fourteen. We need to stop. Fifteen. We need to arrest you. Fifteen. How many kids do you have? How many? How many? That's the that's the that's the face you make. Like you have fifteen kids in two thousand nineteen. What? <laughs> what? That's a school bus full of children. What are you doing? How many? <laughs> that's that is the face. How many? Like that's the face you make. So, uh, the sign the sign doesn't mean anything unless if you're making the. How many face? So look how she does it. Look how she does it, if you don't believe me. How many of you guys... How many of you guys are there, right? How many? Oh, look at that! It's like, how many? You guys, how many kids are there? Oh, it's so good. I'm just saying it's good, guys. It's a good show. Okay. Okay. So there's some contextual problems here when you're like saying don't look away so like look i'm holding i'm 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 talking to you and i'm saying don't look away from me right or don't look away from me but she's saying don't look <laughs> at me <laughs> don't look at me sound language is directional Con and the context you can kind of understand what you're saying and trust me captain ginger nailed it but I think literally what she's saying is, don't look at me. Let's see what she says. How did you do what? We. We. How many of how you, many of you Did I say we? How many of you write? What's the correct number for how many people are here? Like, how many of you guys are there? Right? Don't yeah. look away from me. Yeah, she says, don't look at me. <laughs> don't, don't I look at you. Don't I look at you. <laughs> but in context... Hey, don't look away from me. Don't, don't look away from me. Either of those would be fine. But this doesn't work, doesn't work necessarily in this situation, though I imagine it's a high pressure circumstance that General Maya is in. She's signing, don't look, she's trying to sign, don't look away from me. But she's signing instead, don't look at me, basically. It's kind of weird. From me. It's yeah, she's me. definitely saying, don't look I'm at me. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's totally fine. Liar. Did he say liar here? Did I say we? Don't look don't away from look me. me. <laughs> it's I'm okay. Alone. It's totally fine. It's liar. totally fine. That means lie. Lie. Lies. Not liar. Lie person means liar. Lie person is a liar. Lies. Or that's a lie. It's fine. It works. Captain Ginger is doing an amazing job. If there are more of them, oh, there are a lot of signs going on here. 
Do not take your eyes off her. Right. Don't take your eyes off this person that I'm pointing at. Don't take your eyes off this person. Sign perfectly meant then. Don't take your eyes off looking at something, moving them off the, at that person. That's the way you would context that. I feel like I'm talking to myself now. I'm a little bit in my head, signing and talking at the same time too. Let's do a breakdown of that scene. Hopefully I got a breakdown of it. Okay, we're gonna apparently do the whole thing over again. So, we, you guys, how many of you are there? What? I'm basically asking a question. Don't look away from me. So maybe she isn't saying, don't look at me. Maybe she is actually pointing off the screen. It's kind of hard to see with the frame rate and the dark gloves and the dark background, but maybe she is saying, don't look away from me. And that would make sense rather than don't look at me. <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> I'm taking it back. I'm going to say, don't look at away from me. I think that's the way she's signing that. Okay. I'm totally fine with that. It's all good, guys. It's all good. I'm alone. Lies. Lies. Lying person. So liar. Lies. Lies. If there are more of them, the there are more than are here. Do not take no. your eyes off. Don't take your eyes off her. Oh, look at that walk. She's so angry. She's walking like she's thug walking. All right. Good stuff, guys. Stop right there, elf. Callum, Ezrin, come here. Oh, look at that. So, she, so there are multiple different ways to sign names in ASL. Uh, typically, uh, you could do the full-on letter spelling, so C-A-L-L-U-M for Callum. Um, if that person has, for example, a characteristic feature, you can have like the first letter of her name and like sign it. So, like, if I knew a person that had like gold earrings and her name was Emma, I could like say Emma, like Emma. She's got gold earrings, you know Emma, like Emma. Uh, or if someone really tall like Yulon, he's like very, very tall, Yulon, where is he, do you know? Um, so I think what she's just doing is like, Callum, Ezrin, get over here. And you know, generally you could just hold up the name and just wiggle it a couple of times to say like, hey, this is the person I'm talking about, do you know this person? Do you know where Betty is? Do you know where she is? Uh, or maybe she's referring to the fact that they're like crown princes and they have like, you know, crowns in their head so like Callum Ezrin over here there are a lot of different aspects to it nicknames tend to be something that the person who's using the nickname knows very well and knows the nickname that they already agreed upon so like maybe this is an indication like hey I've used Callum I've used Ezrin as a way to quickly say your guys's names to each other which makes the previous scene where she's like spelling out the full-on name really meaningful because she's actually taking the time to say Hey, I'm saying your full name. I'm not just signing, hey, Callum, you know, why you yell at me, right? She's saying, like, C-A-L-L-U-M. I'm taking the time to say out your name because this is sort of like an important point. There's so much context behind it because she's saying, like, hey, I'm deaf. You don't need to yell at me. You know what You know what this is all about. What are you doing? Versus, hey, Callum, get the F over here. <laughs> no wordy dirties, but look, whoa, whoa, whoa. She is um, hardcore being like uh, concise and laconic to, to, to support the character that she is. And that's what I mean about the signing. It's just so good. Like in the moment, that makes sense. The fact that she would sign them that like that and like point over here, like, hey, both of you guys going over here. It's really well done. That's all I'm saying. It fits the character so well. Callum, it's we not just... Standard Boys, act. Uh, it's not just standard. Oh. Get away from her. Wait. Oh, hey, look that up. Okay, so sometimes um, a lot of words in regular English and the body language that we associate with them 
are carried over into ASL or already are ASL words. So like, wait. I, if I was if I wasn't using signing, I'd be like, hey, wait, wait. In ASL, this means wait, right? But you could also do this as well. This also means wait. So the official standard way of saying wait in ASL is this. Like, could you wait a little bit? Wait. But if I was doing this, that'd make just as much sense in signing or ASL as it would in regular talking with English, right? So it's cool to know that there's flexibility there. And like I said, it's more about body language. So even if I was doing this, you know I meant wait, but if I meant, if I did this, like what does that mean? Wait, the body language that goes into it, even though it's not even an actual sign, an official standardized sign of ASL, still means the same thing as wait. It's just a really cool thing to know that's, and even when I'm doing this, versus could you wait, could you wait, could you, like, I don't get it. Could you wait, I'm like, what, wait? I'm just like, wait, 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 wait. It's cool to know that there's that level there, that it's the body language that really carries the meaning of the word rather than like the, the, the strict signing for it, you know? Body language is important. All right. Ooh, I saw blood. Let's see what we got. Wait, she kill? Uh, oh wait, ah, dude, too fast. Let me try it one more time. Wait, wait, she kill me, drink blood, her monster. Okay. Hopefully, I have this slower. Okay, wait, she kill me, drink blood, her. Monster, she doesn't know what he's signing. What's be what what what's he saying? <laughs> what are you saying? If we don't let you go, if you don't let go, you'll drink, drink blood. blood. That you are a you monster. Are monster. Let's see. Um. So you have to let us go. It's all right. And I'm just funny. I said all right then too. Um. If. I would sign if like this, if you, uh, all right, if you don't let him free, uh, you'll kill the two princes and drink their blood, their blood, because you a psycho monster, <laughs> you crazy girl. <laughs> anyway, uh, next, she says, you have to let us go. all the right. All right. All right. The way I would think of it is like a ship on the sea. It's like, hey, this ship is sailing all right. It's like, it's on. It's going to be all right. And all right, you means it's going to be all right. Like to whoever you're talking to. So like um, talking to your best friend, Bill. Hey, Bill, it's going to be all right. Right. So the way how she signs is all right. And I think she points to Callum. So all right, Callum. It's okay, Callum. I monsters killed before. monsters in the past. Do it. Quick no in ASL. This means past. This means future. So, it's the right Callum. I killed monsters in the past. Lots of them. Many, 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 many. <laughs> no need to worry, baby. I got you. <laughs> Molly and Maya's got you. This scene is completely black. Oh my gosh. It's all right, Callum. It's okay, I Callum. kill. Monsters, monsters in the past. Before. Look at the eyes as she's signing that. So, so important. It's not just a blank face. She's angry, and as she's signing the bigger words, her eyes get a little bit bigger. She leans a little bit more further. Okay, Look. Callum. I killed monsters, monsters before, before in the past. It, was, it would have been so easy for them to just do all this animation with a straight face and just rely entirely on the signing without any posture changes, without any facial changes, but they went through the effort and they done it at the times that it need to be done. This shows great attention to quality of detail and uh, a high level of quality of detail and also emphasizes the importance of good body language with the things that we say. How many times am I going to have to see this dumb scene? All right. 
<laughs> I'm going back and forth. All right. It's all right, you. I kill monsters in the past. It's a great scene. It's a good scene. Okay, next scene. Howdy. Hello. This means hello. No, it's, uh, I think it's more of like a military, everybody stand down sort of a thing. If the elf realizes we follow him, we follow her. She'll take the prince's lives. We have to be careful. We need to be careful. Okay. Corvus! So let's do a breakdown of that a little bit more slowly. Oh. Track them. Track them. Out of sight. Hide. When you see an opportunity. If you see opportunity, free them. Free them. The rest of you, oh my gosh, there's more? You come with me. No, you ride with me. I think she did I think she did this. Okay. If she realizes that we follow her around she'll kill the princes she'll, take she'll kill the princesses the, prince the princesses lives. so we have to be careful we need to be careful or careful need to be basically uh, then she points to Corvus Let's break that first part down. Um, so she realizes that we're following her around. She'll kill the princes. So we need to be, or like we need for everybody else here to be careful, as careful as we possibly can. And then she points to Corvus. Corvus took a long time to walk. So follow. But follow, follow, it's the same. Follow, follow them. But uh, don't let but hide or don't let them see you. Let's see what she said. But stay hide. Out of sight. Look how she leans back when she says that. When don't let them see. see oh. Let me see. I don't think she he said when to see. Out of sight. Hide. When, when you, you see, see an opportunity, opportunity. free. Free them. F signs, F signs, free. Break them away means free. So two things breaking away, but with F signs means free. You guys you. ride with me. Ride. Right. You guys, ride with me. <laughs> Dude, I got... Guys, I think that's the last scene. I think that's the last scene. Anyway, so what did we learn? What did we learn? What was the takeaways here? Hopefully we learned some cool ASL words. But I would say this. Look, um, ASL is not... Is not just hand signs it's body signs it's body language it's hand signs plus body language it's hand signs plus body language and body language is important bl is important for everything especially for talking to people about their deeply held beliefs about things that they're motivated by by things that they value to be true it's good to have positive body language and we can learn a lot from how people who sign communicate with one another because it's not just this it's and I'm excited and that is terrifying or I'm really interested and I want to learn more about what you're saying or I'm really paying attention to the thing that you're saying or I have a really open mind about this and I'm generally trying to learn how you came to this conclusion and see if I can come to that using the same methodology that you're using. Because I think it's interesting to have these kind of communications with people. And I generally want to know what you believe. And I hope by showing good positive body language on my end, you can receive that and hopefully show me some good language on my end. And then, you know what? We're talking to each other past the words that we're saying each other to each other. And now it's more of a deeper connection 
of two people working together for good reasons to believe things. Guys, that is it. Thank you so much for checking out uh, this video. Remember, ASL is a cool language, and I'm going to do some more breakdowns in the future. I hope you stick around. Um, if you want to see some cool SE videos, you can check out the channel, or you can go to se-playlist.com. Links in the description. You don't have to just listen to me. You can see hundred. You can see at least ten different people doing <laughs> street epistemology uh, and putting their videos out on the web for you to enjoy. I hope I, I hope you guys can hear me. Let me make sure my audio is not too loud. Great, 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 great. Uh, lots of examples for you guys to check out. Um, but anyway, uh, see you guys next week. I put videos like this out once a week for you guys to enjoy, and I hope you enjoy them. So see you guys next time. I'll see you next time. Bye.